Hi everyone, today we are going to make a text-to-speech, a simple highlighted text-to-speech. Okay, now let me start debugging. Okay, in first rich text box I paste some text, now I will click on speech. Speech synthesis is the artificial production of human speech. A computer system used for this purpose is called a speech computer or speech synthesize. Now in the first uh, text box you can see it's uh, highlighting the spoken text. Uh, spoken text and the other one is rendering. Uh, rendering the spoken text from, uh, from his position, you know, from the text position and for this we are going to make a very simple thing like uh, we are going to make a very simple progress event okay now first of all you have to click on on your project reference add a reference system.speech system.speech you have to check the system.speech and then click OK after that you need a namespace which is called using system.speech synthesis okay after namespace we are going to give uh, we are going to set a global variable uh, of class of the speech uh, system.speech which is called speech synthesizer for text to speech okay then we are going to give a variable name read you can name it whatever you like I, I just call it read okay read assignment operator is equal new speech synthesizer then after that we are after uh, that we are going to after uh, uh, initialize component we are going to make a uh, event handler for our uh, speech synthesizer which is uh, we are going to use a uh, speak progress event for this okay and then I uh, you have to give a uh, variable name of your speech synthesizer this one or here and then dot speak progress then uh, event handler speak progress event arc and then give the name of the event handler you can call it whatever you like you was I just for me it's a just a speak a speech underscore progress okay then generate the method for this event for this event just generate the method okay, okay let me show you how to generate a method let me comment this out now as you can see if you don't generate a method it will show uh, the error okay just click on this icon and then click uh, generate method now you can see it's a generate uh, visual studio generate a uh, generated method for a speak progress okay now i am going to remove this one because i already have the generated method i will uncomment again this one okay now speak progress okay we are going to first of all we are going to set our rich text box one which has which is our first rich text box okay we are going to uh, set it set it to um, uh, uh, height selection is equal false we want to hide the selection is equal false because we want our uh, uh, character to be highlighted that's why we are hiding the selection is equal is equal false okay and then afterward we are going to make integer for our text position okay a text position and uh, for this we are going to uh, give a variable name text position and then assignment operator then we are using the character position of our uh, spoken text okay our spoken text we are going to 
get the position of it okay there is also audio position for this if uh, let me show you e dot audio position you can also play with this one audio position character count okay but I for this we are going to we want to get the position of the character to hi get highlight uh, highlight the text okay uh, if you want you can directly you can use it or here okay or here you can use this uh, e dot character position directly or here you don't have to make integer for that but but I, I just made a variable name text position to clear the position of uh, that this is about the text position okay then we are using uh, uh, our rich, uh, rich text box find the uh, text in our rich text box uh, we are going to use this and then uh, for this we need a uh, three parameter the first parameter should be a string the second position uh, second parameter should be integer and the third is optional okay okay now the, for this we are going to find the text from e dot text which is the spoken text uh, output and then we are going to give a text position which is our a spoken text character position and the third one is we are going to use its rich text box finds which is enum and we have over here there you can play with the other uh, stuffs like match cases no highlight none re reverse you can reverse the the search in text box uh, find in text box you can reverse it also or I I will use this one okay whole whole word okay I'm going to use the whole word okay we done with the first uh, rich, uh, rich text box for highlight the uh, the spoken text okay the second one is uh, we are going to render as I told you we are going to render the spoken text uh, on uh, on the character position uh, of our uh, render uh, of our spoken text we will render on the position of the spoken text okay uh, now it's very simple just a uh, rich text box dot text plus e uh, equal uh, plus equal concatenate in uh, assignment operator and then we are going to give one space between our spoken te spoken text result okay uh, because we don't want to mess every word with each other uh, because if you don't give a space the the out output will uh, the result output will be uh, like uh, in one line every, every everything in without space you know all the words will mess with each other okay that's why we are going to give a space and then we can concatenate with our spoken text result okay now I will save this and I will start debugging now I will paste the text over here speech synthesis is the artificial production of human speech a computer system used for this purpose is called a speech computer or speech synthesize now you can see it's uh, one is highlighting and other is uh, rendering when the spoken result is ready okay and okay now this is very simple and uh, as you can see I forgot to tell you in button click event you have to to give the rich text box to read the uh, uh, read uh, read the uh, spoken uh, spoken text from uh, read the text from the text box with the speech synthesizer okay you can do it like this if you want you can add more buttons like uh, open uh, like for example let me show you uh, I will 
I will call this button like uh, pause pause I will copy this button or no I will add another button I will call this uh, stop to stop the synthesizer also you can add uh, one button for open text file and in open a text file or something from your drive and other things but not I am not going to tell you about the open the text file and other things but I had uh, simple pass button we we gonna use uh, we are gonna use speak no read a variable name of our of our speech synthesizer then uh, we are going to use a pass like this okay and then for a stop button you can use uh, read dot uh, we are going to use a speak cancel all like this okay cancel all one is for stop and the other one is for okay let me paste again the text speech synthesis is the art now is you can see i pass the the uh, speech synthesizer or here and then ah, i forgot to uh, uh, to to give and one more button to for resume I will call this one this button to resume resume okay now read dot read dot resume we are going to use the resume okay like this now test it let's test it again now it's taking too much time I don't know what what's happened let me rebuild solution okay let me debug again okay now I will click on a speech. speech synthesis is the artificial production then I pause and then I will of human it. speech a computer system used pause and then stop okay this is for a stop button resume pause and speak okay this tutorial is ended over here see you in next tutorial uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and leave your comment about this let me show you my youtube channel this is my youtube channel okay you can send me your messages and everything as, as send a message what kind of mm, tutorial should I make and leave your comment and please uh, don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon to get the latest updates uh, uploaded uh, videos of uh, latest tutorial videos okay see you in next tutorial bye from now